Gilbert and Sullivan's Vertigo. He appeared in the House of the Long Shadows, which he went, he played with uh, Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, and John Carradine in that movie. Um, just amazing. And of course, he he did the voice for the Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby Doo. Remember that? Remember the Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby Doo? Yeah. That was him. I just, I, I, you know, what can you say about the man? Um, and though Price worked each of the actors at least once before, this was the first time all of them had teamed up. Um, he hosted the PBS television series Mystery, and of course, 13 Goats of Scooby Doo is Vincent Van Gogh. It was really good. I love him. He just, um, Awesome. Just awesome. Um, in 84, he appeared in Shelley Duvall's live action series, Fairy Tale Theater, as the mirror in Snow White, and the narrator for The Boy Who Left Home to find out about the shivers. In 87, he starred with Betty Davis, Lillian Gish, and Anne Southern in The Whales of August. Um, in 1989, he was inducted into the St. Louis Walk of Fame. Um, his last significant film work was as the inventor in Tim Burton's Edward Scissor's Hand. A just, a, what an amazing, amazing actor. I mean, um, and of course, how could we not forget House on Haunted Hill? That movie is a, a timeless classic. That movie was, uh, I love that movie. I could watch that movie over and over and over again. Um, he was just, I, I can't say enough about the man. He was, some, he was something else. Um, just amazing, just amazing. House on Haunted Hill Theater of Blood, The Abominable Dr. Fibes. Um, A 13 Ghost Time Express. Uh, House of House of Wax. Now that was a classic. Uh, yeah, House on Haunted House of Wax will too. My Marie Antoinette, and his voice was just—it's <coughs> one of those voices you could listen to forever. And I, if I had a choice, he could narrate my life. Short as it is, he could do that. Of course, The Last Man on Earth. Uh, I figured you'd really like that movie, like Last Man on Earth. Um, shush. NBC Matinee Theater, Hollywood Squares, Edward Scissor's Hands. Um, I love the Pit and the Pendulum. He was great. How about the Tingler? Um, that was uh, William, one of William Castle's movies, I believe. Um, you know, and the Tingler, and they had their stuff in the audience. What a character William Castle was. Seriously. Um, that was great. House of Usher, of course. Oh, my God. I, I love all of those movies. They are like... I, I can't say enough. Um, the Raven, Tumulagia, of course. Um, the Raven with Boris Karloff and Peter Loy. Amazing. The Original Fly. Do you remember that? Yeah, Sheldon, he's he's annoying. He's just something else. Um, yeah, how about um, The Fly, the original Fly? Do you remember the end of the movie where that little voice is on the fly? Help me, help me. <coughs> Sheldon, it's next. <coughs> Apologies, guys, sorry. He's laughing at the people next door. Witchfinder General, of course, The Conqueror Worm. Tales of Terror, again, that was, uh, you know, with Peter Lorre. Mask of the Red Death, that was one creepy movie. The Haunted Palace. Madhouse, Diary of a Madman. That was another great movie, Diary of a Madman. I mean, the, guy, the man is a legend, let's face it. Um, the Bat. Uh, Return of the Fly. Laura, that was the name of that movie. Um, 
the invisible man returns. The mad magician. Scream and scream again was another one. Um, just, it goes on and on. But we all know him, I think, the best in the Edgar Allan Poe movies. Um, House of Wax was, uh, uh, I just love that movie. He was just, and that laugh of his, ooh, creepy, creepy, creepy. Um, oh, I know what it is. My cat's trying to get in the house, and he's having a hissy fit over here. Um, he is just, I mean, uh, what can you say? I mean, seriously, he is just, um, he is it. He is the horror master. He is an icon in the legend world. Uh, Peter Cushing was too in Christopher Lee, but that's, uh, it was an interesting, uh, thing about, uh, Christopher Lee. He asked not to be cast as Dracula anymore in the Hammer films because he said he didn't do anything but kind of stand there. So, uh, <laughs> I guess he wanted more action, but, boy, he got it later on, didn't he? Uh, Christopher Lee. Wow. Uh, those red eyes in Dracula, you know, just, you know, holding your attention. Um, so what's your favorite franchise, the newer ones? Uh, I have to, I have to go with the Halloween, um, movies, my favorite. What about you, Valerie? What do you think? Mikey's my man. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. So, uh, yeah, I love the Halloween movies and I'm so excited about Jamie Lee Curtis coming back for one more. Uh, she is just amazing. She is just amazing. So, but you have to love, you know, that's my man of the month, Vincent Price. He's like, um, the, uh, epitome of Halloween. So, yeah, you too, Michael Myers. Oh yeah, Halloween. Jason, eh, not so much. I like Jason, but Mikey's the man. He's just awesome. Um, what's your least favorite? I have to go with, uh, I don't know. I love the Saw series, too. I mean, that was amazing. Uh, my least favorite, I think it's Chucky. I'm not a real fan of Chucky. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not a real big fan of Chucky, so I don't know. Um... I hope to see Jigsaw soon. Um, I really do. I hope I can. I love uh, that's a amazing um, that that series. I just love the genius in these um, traps because they have to. They're showing how they're how they're working and everything, and how they're killing them. So I don't know who's thinking of those, but it's uh, oh, I love zombie movies. Give me a zombie movie. I love zombies. Zombies are great. Um, they're not for everyone, but zombies are awesome. Um, I'm trying to think what else um, is going on. So, yeah, of course, you know, all the movies that are showing now. Um, I'm trying to watch every single one of them. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm possible with working and everything, but I watch all that I can. So, you're not too much in love with zombies, but what's your least favorite franchise? Uh, I'm not real into the Chucky franchise, seriously. So, um, yeah, that's my least favorite, I think, I have to say. But um, you have to love uh, Vincent Price. I mean, seriously, I can't say enough about him. And he was so tall. Um, if you watch in some of the movies, he kind of has to duck. I noticed that in some of the movies. That's about, I'm going to find out exactly how tall he was. You know, that man was 6'4". Vincent Price was 6'4". I, I'd hurt my neck watching him. Christopher Lee also, he was 6'5". Peter Laurie was my size, 5'3". Um, wow. Peter Cushing was 6 foot. So uh, a lot of your main actors are pretty tall. Peter Cushing, Vincent Price, Christopher Lee. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, he was 6'4". That's pretty tall. That's over a foot taller than I am. So, And unfortunately, we lost him in um, 93. 
What a great man. That was so sad. Um, he was basically the father of horror movies. He was just, oh, God. And here's a quote from Mr. Vincent Price. A man who limits his interests limits his life. Oh, my God. What I mean, he is one of the most iconic and beloved horror movie actors in the world. Um, uh, you, it's, his name is synonymous with elegance, humor, talent, charm, um, you know, plus, you know, the other evil, diabolical, and all those other ones, too. Um, he had his, over a 60-year movie career. Countless classic horror movies, of course. Absol- absolutely amazing. Um, but he, he loved to cook, too. He was a gourmet cook, I might add. Gourmet, not just cooking. but uh, And he was uh, one of the most fascinating men of the 20th century. He was proud of his contributions to the arts and, of course, his museum. Um and here's an iconic cookbook. Listen up, guys. A Treasury of Great Recipes. It was written by Vincent Price with his second wife, Mary Grant. It is recognized as a culinary classic. So there's another side to the books. You know, of course, there's Universal Monster books everywhere and all kinds of stuff. But um, he's written, it's called The Treasury of Great Recipes. It is written by him and his second wife. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, he was more than just a horror movie actor. He, uh, he was the elegant side of evil. He was truly a renaissance man whose contributions to everything will be a lasting legacy. He's just, I, I just amazing. I, uh, wow. I love that man. He's just, he was the reason I got into horror movies. So... You know, bless his heart for doing that for me. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back. We're going to discuss some of the, you know, new franchise movies, um, you know, the Chucky movies, the uh, Saw movies, you know. So let me know what's your favorite, and we'll be right back. 